for dozens of men. I have been practicing at work. Women and kids. I'm maybe going to walk four miles. Four miles. Okay, maybe. Really. Walking a mile never hurts so good. Last year I, I wore socks. This year I'm going all the way. Okay. Awesome. I'll be on my knees by the fourth time around, but, <laughs> but I'm going all the way. In its ninth year, Weave's Walk a Mile in Her Shoes fundraiser had to be rescheduled from May after rain and thunderstorms canceled the event. So this do-over event, or shoe-over as they call it, took participants on a four-lap course around Lavender Heights in Midtown Sacramento. It's a great time for us to acknowledge that this is a problem that we do need to try and work on fixing, but it's a great way to do it a little bit lighthearted with obviously a whole bunch of guys and families wearing heels. Money raised from the walk helps fund Weave's many programs. We would not be able to shelter victims and their children, provide legal representation, counseling, and do all of the great prevention work that we do in the community to stop this violence before it starts. Organizers say the walk, which started as a harebrained idea back in 2010 for men to support Weave, has now transformed into an all-inclusive event. It's just turned into a great celebration of acknowledging that violence happens in families and that we can all do something ourselves to make a difference. It's for helping women that need a place to go when their home is not safe. This was Matthew and his family's second year participating. So it was fun. It was a lot of a lot of fun. A lot of blisters. A lot of blisters, yeah. And dad says they've learned a little something in their sophomore year. I ended up going a size up this year. So uh, we'll see how the blisters go. Over its nine year run, the Walk a Mile in Hershey's event has helped Weave raise more than $2 million. All of that they were able to put right back into their programs. In Sacramento, Tish Pomadesi, KCRA 3 News.